So we will do our own risk assessment and for realistic reasons uh, we don't allow guarantee ops on absolutely everything. I mean there are a few which we would say we're not happy to take the risk purely because it's something which we feel, you know, you never know might happen, what might happen to the stock. So yeah, yeah, we won't allow on everything. But the majority of things that you see will will be happy to for you to have a guaranteed stop on it. With UK uh, shares, we will offer everything in the FTSE 100, but everything outside of it, we will we will decide whether it's a stock which we're happy to set up for a client. So if someone comes on the phone and says, you know, I want to trade this stock, but you don't have it set up, we will do our own risk analysis on it. And effectively, it will have to have a market cap of at least 10 million pounds if it's a UK stock. Different for different countries, but for UK, it's 10 million pounds. And it has to be liquidly traded. And um, yeah, I mean, within, you know, There'll be a, a number of reasons why we wouldn't allow it, but mainly the most important is market cap and liquidity of the stock. There are always risks when you trade anything, and you know it is a leveraged product, and you have to be careful what you're doing. But I think it's important to say to be a good trader, it's you have to do your research, you have to know what you're actually trading on, you have to do your background checks. I, you know, if you if you go straight in on the back of what someone said, then you know maybe that is a mistake. Maybe not. You never know. But like I said, it's not not all traders are losers. And I think as long as you do your research, then at least you're giving yourself a good a good shot at a good trade. Uh, IG itself. I mean, the trading platform. We do our own sort of analysis on specific stocks. If you go on to our insight part of the platform, uh, key in a specific stock, it will give you a sort of breakdown of uh, you know what you know not so much what we project, but just a bit of news about the stock, a bit of sort of information, who they are, what they do, um, may a bit of you know sort of analysis of what their projections are. A, bu a bunch of other stuff, but you know, as well as that, to do your own research, go on the internet, look up the companies, you know, that was always that's always going to help. Well, it is effectively sort of uh, taking a general view of what our clients are doing, uh, you know, just giving you an idea of where the flow is and uh, you know what's a popular stock, which is always going to be interesting for a client to see what other people are doing. It's not going to give you an exact sort of breakdown of what who's doing this, who's doing that. It's just generalising. It just helps you out with sort of knowing, well, this is something interesting. Obviously, people have got some interest in this and why. So we think it's quite a good thing to have on the platform. Yeah, exactly. And also, you know, people will either trade if they want to trade. Uh, but going short of a stock itself can be quite difficult to do. We as a company allow clients to go long and short, assuming you can, you're actually physically allowed to do it. Sometimes you're not able to go short on a specific stock. Sometimes we have to locate borrow in the market before we can allow clients to go short ourselves. So I think in general, uh, clients, you know, they will, as I say, they'll do their research, they'll look at specific stocks, and they will be more optimistic on, they will basically trade stuff which they think has got some potential. So.